present Bob Del Monte in Days of Greek Gods with Jimmy Apollo, Artie Zeller, and the Athens Studio Statue. Hi, I'm glad you came over. We thought you'd have some ideas on what to do this afternoon. I've been spending my afternoon reading. What's the book? It's a book about today's Greek gods. You'd be surprised at some of the interesting stars I've been reading. Really? For instance, there's one about Hercules. When we think of Hercules, we think of strength. He is celebrated in mythology for having achieved certain tasks imposed upon him by a jealous goddess. One curious task was that Hercules served the dress as a female and served the queen of Lydia for three years while she wore his apparel. Of course, today the only type of model suited for the role of Hercules would be an outstanding athlete like Artie Zeller. Thanks, Bob. Artie, you've won many awards and titles already, haven't you? That's right, Bob, but the one I'm aiming for is the Mr. America. What do you work out at, uh, Artie? I train at Abe Goldberg's health studio. One of the best. The story of Narcissus all started because the goddess Echo was powerless to speak, only able to reply. When Narcissus spoke to her, she could only answer him with his own words. Narcissus was disturbed by this and avoided her. For his cruelty to Echo, the goddess of justice caused him to fall in love with his own reflection. He pined away in desire of himself and was changed into the Narcissus flower. And here's Narcissus in person of Jimmy Apollo. Well, at least, Bob, I haven't turned into a flower yet. <laughs> what do you do in private life, Jim? Well, actually, I do just what you see me doing now. What do you mean? Well, I pose. I'm a professional model. I pose for artists and art schools. Aren't you a singer, too? Well, you might say I study a bit. Besides being a model and a singer, this is also a very fine artist. In fact, you'll be seeing a painting of this at the end of the song. I think it's a real work of art. Well, I wouldn't say that exactly, Bob. I like Narcissus. Give me volume artists. With that, I'll say. This time you'll be seeing me as the model, as well as the storyteller. Here is the most celebrated and most highly esteemed statue of all the Greek gods, the Apollo Belvedere, now in the Vatican in Rome. The statue was found in the 16th century near Antioch, on the coast south of Rome. The statue represents Apollo as the vigorous and triumphal youth, naked except for the cloak over his extended left arm. It's about time I took over from my other self. I know I'm not what you call a well-dressed storyteller. Seeing that the other guys in the same attire, I'm sure you won't mind. Say, fellas, if you'd be interested in seeing other statues and hearing other stories, why don't you drop us a line? Send us a letter. That's a swell idea. Now, I think it's time we took a shower and got dressed. So long for now. Photos may be obtained from Bob Del Monte, 4873 St. Lawrence, Detroit, Michigan. Jimmy Apollo, 617 West 142nd Street, New York City. Artie Zeller, 309 East Houston Street, New York City. Athens Studio Statue, Post Office Box 1561, Station D, Los Angeles 7, California.